Film censorship. With 195 countries worldwide, even the most well-known blockbusters can have their fair bit of censored content. And Deadpool is no exception, which isn't that crazy for someone who thinks Boltneck is a masterpiece. That's a dream girl, buddy. But it can be noticeable how or why Deadpool can either be restricted or cut entirely within an entire country. So allow me to introduce... <laughs> Film censorship can happen for all sorts of reasons. For example... Sorry, but we can automatically censor anything that's related to politics, sexuality, religion or extreme violence. You killed 6 million of the people that I loved, so I'm gonna ban any of your films for the next 11 years. Interacting couples are too sensitive, so at least these movies will be banned. You don't follow our religious principles. You're banned. And so, there are a fair bit of reasons to censor a movie. But when we talk about the Deadpool franchise, not only do they all start with a D, but they all have an R rating for any of these reasons. So many countries quickly look at Deadpool with some suspicion. One of which is this country. Can you guess who it is? It's Uzbekistan who banned the first Deadpool back in 2016, because... Can I show my film in your country? No. What? Why? No. No. Ugh. I said why? Because of your age restrictions. How can you ban me because of age restrictions? Because I can. And also because you violate our social norms. There you have the first country that censored the first Deadpool, which was followed by a bit of speculation in the Middle East. But in the end, it was able to get released without much of a pro- Oh, never mind. The next country is Kuwait. What? Why? Remember earlier this video? No. We can censor anything that's related to politics, sexuality, religion, or extreme violence. You know what? You suck. Thanks to the ban, Deadpool joins a very exclusive list of films banned in Kuwait. But it did get released in some Middle East countries. That's just lazy writing. Then again, countries like Uzbekistan and Kuwait, Together they only have a population of about 40 million people. It's not like a country with 1.4 billion people will ban the first Deadpool film. And you're right, I'm banning the ban. Hello Mr. Reynolds, we're happy to welcome your film to our beautiful nation. Ah, finally, some approval. I know, I'm awesome. Now, I'm announcing a ban that forces you to make 7 general cuts. You know what? You have a deal. With a bit of censorship, Deadpool was allowed to be seen in India. So you have Uzbekistan, Kuwait, India, but there is one more country that put some heavy censorship on Deadpool. That's right, the land of martial arts, the Great Wall, active communism, unique language, but maybe not in the way you thought it happened. Hello China, hello Ryan, I would like to release my film in your country. It's an R-rated film. Oh, we don't do that here. Does it include graphic content? Yes. Can you cut that out? Actually, no. It will ruin the plot of the movie, so could you please- You're banned. It actually took two years before an uncut version of Dapu was shown within the Chinese country. During the Beijing International Film Festival, it was displayed between April 15th and April 22nd, 2018. In the end, it was mainly the first Deadpool that had to deal with great censorship, not including edited versions to lower its film certification. Yet the three Deadpool films combined grossed over $2.2 billion, which can still increase, even without a large audience reach from China, Kuwait and Uzbekistan. It didn't stop Deadpool from becoming a well-loved franchise in all the other countries. In fact, Deadpool 3 even made it into Kuwait, an achievement to eventually be proud of.